just to just to back up. Ten days after my arrest, the person who actually did it confessed to it. He went to the officers and he confessed to it and, and told him he did it and to told prison? him why. Yeah, they they said that um they had reason to believe. They and never, he was lying. They never they never presented these reasons, but they had reason to believe that he was um, compensated for his confession. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Oh, okay. Yeah. In fact, um, just, to, just to back up, 10 days after my arrest, the person who actually did it confessed to it. He went to the officers and he confessed to it and, and told them he did it and to told prison? him why. Yeah, they, they said that um, they had reason to believe they and never, he was lying. they never, they never presented these reasons, but they had reason to believe that he was um, compensated for his confession mm. by me, by me, and no limit. Mm, mm, mm. It's like, what can you? And me and my lawyer, our argument was, what can you pay a man to go spend the rest of his life in prison? That doesn't right. even make any sense. We're not talking about. This is my weed, or this is my um, stolen goods. I'm, I'm, you know, that's for me. That's not for them. No, we're talking about a person who confessed to killing an individual. So, what did he say as the reason why he confessed? He said the guy broke a bottle and rushed him with the bottle, and he said he shot him. So he's looking at self-defense. And that was part of the reason they said that he was lying. There, there. Their argument was that he's not only trying to get me off, he's trying to get, get himself left. off. Right. And I was like, I have never heard of anything like this before. And um, he confessed three times. Lie detectors, they didn't try to do a lie detector? They probably did. But they also did a test on my hands for gunpowder residue. And found none. It, they, it found none, and the test kind of came up missing. Okay, you 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 get convicted. You now you say the anger is not really just there, but then you get to go. You go to Angola. Where you, where do you go to prison? Well, I went to. Um, I spent most of my time at Elaine Hunt Correctional okay. Center, but when I left the Paris jail, they sent me up north to um, Concordia Parish uh, facility, and then I stayed there for two years. Left there, went to um, Fort Wade, which is further up north. And I did like two weeks there because I had to go through processing. And then they sent me to a place called Winfield. I did two and a half years at Winfield. And then I was sent back down south to Elaine Hunt. And that's where I spent like 15 years at Elaine Hunt. I think I went to Angola for a week to get my two pulled. Wow. And um, I just... I just tried my best to make um, the best of my time in prison. I tried not to wallow in the, the sorrow, sorrow. Of, of what happens. And, and I think, uh, I think you know, a lot of it has to do with just my upbringing. I, I just was never, uh, we, my parents didn't raise us to be victims, you know. And, and as painful as the situation was for me, I always tried to see the, the good in it or tried to see, if not the good in it, see a light at the end of the tunnel. And then there were people around me who were in situations that I felt were far more worse than mine. Like there was a guy who I was um, incarcerated with at Hunt. He had been locked up 46 years for a rape that he didn't commit. He's out now. He was, um, they found DNA evidence to let him out. And you know, it, it's this man is in his 60s. Wow. But in a case has, like that, and they found DNA evidence, and to let him go, he did he go back and sue the city? Well, if I am not mistaken, and don't quote me on this, Louisiana has like a two hundred thousand dollar or something cap on what you can get for wrongful conviction. That's it. That's yeah, it. Yeah, they make sure that you you can't really get nothing. And unfortunately, the people that wrongfully convict you are not held accountable. Do mm. was this before the C murder thing? It, it, Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101.